Hey guys, Roman here with episode 4 of Subnautica. It would help a lot if you left a comment below saying whether I should post more Subnautica videos or Warzone videos. If you have been enjoying the Subnautica series, then leave a like and consider subscribing. Alright, here we are. So if you do remember last game, we actually built the most powerful thing in the game. And it has helped us out a lot already. And what is it? Here it is, the Seamoth. So we just crafted this last game. And it's like really OP. This episode we're going to try to go to that dry land and explore what happens. Because if it looks as good as the graphics do underwater, then this should be a pretty cool island. I don't know if I should leave the lights on the Seamoth. I don't know if that eats up the battery or not. So I'm just going to turn it off for now. So here's something new. Last time we did find um, some materials that are new, and we found these two gel sacks and rubies, which are, I, I'm pretty sure important because, as you can see, there's a whole other category of advanced materials, and arrow gel is one of them. So I don't know what else you can craft with these. So I'm just gonna make it. Here's something new I want to craft: the rebreather. Oh, we have a mess. Okay, let me answer this really quick. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. Wait, what? It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. Should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. So they're coming to get us in 40 in minutes, as you can see at the top right. Okay, sweet. So it looks like we're supposed to rendezvous right there, which is thousand meters away so that's pretty far i don't think we've been that far yet rebreather conserves oxygen when diving deeper absorbs and recycles co2 in the breathable air here we go rebreather here's something else i want to craft which is expensive wiring kit is annoying to craft because of the silver but i'll make it anyways compass there we go oh it's automatically installed that's sweet Okay, so here's the deal. As you can see, my storage is pretty full right now, and I don't have any other place to store all my stuff. But down here, there is a category of something I can craft called a waterproof locker, small storage solution that maintains position in the water. So I'm going to make some of these because I need more space. Now, let's see how these guys work. So if I just drop this in the water, is that good? Open storage. Oh, that storage is small though. Okay, I'll take it. Sweet, so we got two lockers, so that's a pretty decent amount of space. Now here's the thing I'm concerned with though, is those stalkers, you know how they eat the metal? Do they eat these, or do they at least drag them away? Because if they do, then I don't think it's a good idea to have out here, because there's one stalker that like, lurks around my base, and if he does come under, and he grabs that locker, I could lose some valuable stuff. So here's the thing, rebreather, it's not automatically equipped, and the re is because we have the radiation helmet on. So if I take this off, am I going to get radiation? You know, and I, oh man, I haven't done this in a while, but if I scam, have I, when was the last time I self-scanned? Okay, normal. Okay, that's good. So if I take this off, am I not going to be normal? Am I going to be, have radiation? I don't know, I'm going to keep it on just in case, but I want to know what this rebreather does. Okay, let me try swap items. Is it helping my oxygen at all? I don't think so. I'm gonna keep it on just in case though. Doesn't look like we have radiation, so I think it's fine. What is this guy doing? No. Get out. You're not welcome here. Get out of here. That's so cool, our Seamoth has its very own beacon. Re what? Oh, do I need to put the helmet on? Oh no, I dropped it. Do I need to... Put the what? Did you see that? It's a radiation. Stalker tooth. What? Dude, oh god. Bro, no, get back. This guy's mad because he lost his tooth. 
No, I'm not the Tooth Fairy. Get out. What is this? Stuck teeth. That thing's huge. Ooh, here's something new. Enameled glass. Glass hardens using a natural substance, which that is what you need the stalker tooth for. That and glass. So it's like a pretty, pretty strong glass. Is there anything else I can craft? Pathfinder tool. This might be useful. Uh, air bladder. Uh, we don't really need a flotation device. Uh, laser cutter. So this is what we need to get into that, that wreckage, but it takes two diamonds. I don't know how to find diamonds. I haven't found them yet. This is also new. Propulsion cannon. Warps gravity to pull and push objects. We should craft that soon because that sounds pretty cool. There's also some other things down here that we haven't found the ingredients for, which I kind of want because beacon. That sounds useful. Grav trap. Don't know what that does, but I want to. What the heck? Look at this stalker. He's like got green dots on him. Specimen with symptoms of infection. Advanced theories. This organism is displaying signs of bacterial. Oh god. Get away. I don't want your disease. Dang, bro. COVID didn't even exist on this planet. Best one symptoms of infection. This organism is displaying signs of a bacterial infection. Warning. May be contagious. Avoid. Do not under any circumstance consume the flesh. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. Look, there he is. Oh look, it's infected too. Oh god. No. Get away. Oh. oh god, it just bit me. I had both my joysticks just turning in the opposite direction. And it still poured, pulled me towards it. That thing's strong. Okay, so I just spent like the past 20, 10 to 20 minutes uh, mining and fishing. Whoa, what's this? I've, I've seen this wreck before, right? I could have missed this. This is right next to my base. Graft trap fragment. I didn't even have that yet. Beacon. How did I miss all these things? The grav trap. How did I miss this? There we go. Grav trap. Uses artificial gravity to attract light objects and smaller creatures. So if I place this right here. That's so cool. Oh, blazer. Wait, what is this? Titanium? Did I drop titanium? This is sick. Look, it, it pulls in fish too. Use fish. What is happening here? Oh, it's gra it's grabbing the titanium that I dropped down here. That's so cool. Pulling in, that's sweet. This is like my source of food for now on, and I don't think you can get out, so. Again though, if, uh, if, uh, what are they called? If stalkers, if they do eat metal, and they want this, then everything down here could be, uh, their food, or their dinner for the night, so I should watch out. And then this too, Beacon, Navigation Aid, maintains and broadcasts its position, configurable name. So that's sweet, it's easy to craft, it only takes one copper and titanium. I think it's best to carry one of these on me at all time, because if I do run into a place that's like, important and I think I need to return, and I don't have a beacon on me, then that'll suck, because I don't want to know how to get back. If I drop this here, like that. Edit beacon name, and then can I make this these balls? Yeah, that's sick. So it's just like uh, the base in the seamoth. Sweet. So I can place this anywhere. Like I can place it a, a kilometer away. And I'll see what it is. That's sweet. Fifteen minutes until Sunbeam picks us up. So I'm pretty excited. I don't know what else I need to bring. I might wanna cook up some fish and put some salt on it so that it's preserved or I could just bring this nutrient block I really don't know yeah I'm just gonna bring this why not okay so here's the deal 15 minutes until Sunbeam comes and save us well now 14 so should I go now I don't know how long it's gonna take me because it's, it's more than a kilometer away which is a fairly good diff distance so I think I'm gonna start heading there now because I have everything I need Welcome. 
Oh, look, I've only been going for like 20 seconds, and look, I'm already like a quarter of the way there. Ooh. I don't think I've seen this yet. Trash can. Alright, sweet. Another thing, when you're in the Seamoth, below where your normal items are in your inventory, there's four circles. None of them are filled, so I'm kind of concerned. Is there a way you could mod this out so that there's four things that you could activate on the Seamoth to... Wait. Is this the one from before? What? Have I not been here? What just happened? Why is creepy music playing? Have I been here before? And why did I get that PDA and nothing happened? Normally, let's make that cool Duh, sound and like show a data thing at the top left. What is this? Gold. Special equipment is required to collect this resource. Oh, that's creepy. What is that? Hold on, I gotta go check this out. Look at this thing, it's like floating. That's creepy, it's like a floating island, but it's like underwater. Weird, what are these giant purple things? <laughs> what is that? No, no, that's creepy. What are those things? They're like skeletons. Look at them. They're like dragons. Oh god. And they want to eat me. Bro, get out of here. Oh my god. No, I'm scared. Those things literally destroyed my life pod to half health. See, if I didn't know about this repair tool thing, my whole Seamoth would be screwed. This is definitely the farthest away from the life pod I've been before. Whoa, look at that. Oh, radio message. Look at this. This is dry land. Look, this is where they're going to save us. I thought this game was mostly underwater, but look, they have stuff out of the water, too. That's creepy. What was that? Is that a fish? What was that? What did it just shoot at me? Oh god. There's a there's a alien shooting lasers at laser balls at me. No, I'm getting out. I wanna get on this land now. What was that? Can they go on the lands? This is sick, by the way. This is really cool. Look at how tall this island is. Can I get up there? Is that thing still down here? I have so many questions. Okay, I think it's gone. That was definitely... That's so scary. It's like squealing at me. What? It's shooting these balls of electricity at me. Oh, it just hit me. What? Should I try poking it? Look at it float over the water. That's definitely an alien. They can't go on land, can they? Ooh. He keeps shooting balls of energy at me. Okay, I don't think this guy can go on land. Okay, nope, aliens. I'm, I'm done. Okay, so it's supposed to land right here. What? What? I knew this place was already inhabited. I was gonna say, this earth is too cool. What is this? This is creepy. Purple tablet fragment. What is this? Purple tablet. This carbon based device is lighter than it looks and features a symbol which, rese which resembles a U. Look at this thing, it's like a force field. What was that? No, I'm scared. There are creepy sounds. 
Look at this place. This place is huge. Look at those tunnels. Why am I hearing really loud roaring? What is this? Cyclops and Give me that. Look at that. What is this? Cyclops. The Cyclops is the most popular and reliable deep sea submersible in the galaxy. Look at that thing. I knew there was another submarine out there. That thing's huge. Oh, it's getting dark. I hate the dark. Tablet. There was a broken one on the ground. Does that count? Wait, I can scan this. Force field control terminal. This device matches no known technology. It's likely alien in nature. Whoa. But look at this. Can I. Is this gonna like electrocute me? No, it just stops me from going by. Okay, that's cool. Bro, I'm scared. Look how dark this is. I can't even see. And I run it puts the flashlight down. No, this is scary. Alright, well, let's take a look around the island. Look, this is creepy. Oh, here's another. Oh, I can pick this one up. Whoa. Wait. Purple tablet. Ancient alien tablet with a purple symbol. This is creepy, guys. We're exploring so much today. Okay, some of them will arrive in three minutes, so. We should be good to go. Oh! No. What is that? Oh. Oh, those are my two biggest fears. Spiders and crab crabs. And that thing's like a mix of both. Guess I'm just gonna hide behind this rock until Sunbeam arrives. Can you hear those roars in the distance? It's creeping me out. Just listen. That's definitely a big fish. What is that? Okay, that's the alien. Oh, they can teleport. Sunbeam, hurry up. Come on. Okay, I kind of actually wish that they'd take their time because I want to see them save me when it's day out, not when it's really dark out. Or right, you know what? Come save me now. I don't care. It's a... Uh, cold out and it's scary and I just want to go home but I'm kind of nervous like aren't there supposed to be other people here isn't this where where the rest of the Aurora crew is supposed to be saved the survivors so am I the only one okay, it's getting day oh look at how beautiful that sunrise is this game is awesome I mean look at all the birds the mountains are huge I wonder if you can go to the top I mean it's creepy at the same time it's just beautiful everything in this game is amazing if you don't have this game go play it what was that is that the tower? Look at it, it's growing. So I'm even okay here in 20 seconds. Where are they? Oh, wait, wait, I gotta watch this tower. What is it doing? There's a creepy horn playing. What's it in here? Is that the. Oh no, that's a bird. Survivor, we see you. Wait, where are you? Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Oh, sweet. What was that? Is that a building down there? Yeah, this one. What do you mean you can't identify it? Because it's alien. It's creepy. Hold on. No turning back now. Oh, there they are. There's the sunbeam. They're going to save us. Eight. It's coming from the building? Oh. I know it's gonna happen. Change no, course. No, Set no. To What just happened? The sunbeam, it's it's gone. I should have known that was gonna happen. Come on, we just started the game. This is only episode five. 
Okay, I'm treating this like this is a joke, but all those people on that ship just died. Look at the part, the ashes raining down. Can I go salvage those? I gotta say though, the sounds in this game are amazing. Like that right there, what's it doing? Oh, it's going back to its original form. Okay, this is creepy. I'm done here. I'm going back to the uh, home. This is a scary. And like I was saying before the building decided to turn back to its original form, the sounds in this game are amazing because as soon as it shot the sunbeam down, it blew up, the whole sound echoed around the whole globe off the aurora. I could hear it from every side and it, it, the sound was just amazing. <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, Seema, take me home. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be here any longer than I have to. I want to explore that island and that alien, um, but I don't at the same time, so I'm out. I'm going back home. Ooh! I have not seen this before. Oh, God. Can I salvage this? Can I get inside? Oh, God. No, get away! That's a sealed door, I need a laser cutter to get in, which sucks because I don't know how to craft that. We're finally home. Look at this, this is so much nicer than that horrible place. That thing sounds huge! No. What is that? Change no, course. no, Set no! Oh right, we got a radio message. Yep. Sharing subject locations with other agents. Partially translated? That was scary. Siri, why didn't you just like not translate it at all? Okay, I want to hear this again. Partially translated broadcast. Just cheering it again sent a shiver down my spine. That's so scary. So I'm I don't know what that was, but I'm assuming that it was the aliens because they're they're kind of mad. We kind of just invaded their home, and so did the sunbeam. So it sounds like they're talking about us. Are they finding us, and they're sharing my location with their other teammates? Because so it sounds like they want me dead, which isn't the best thing. So guys, I think I've had enough Subnautica today. I hope you guys feel the same because I am. I'm still dizzy from everything that just happened. Uh, we did a lot today. We uh, we tried we tried using the Seamoth some more, which is even cooler than we first uh, imagined because it's getting us everywhere. You know, it refills our oxygen. Uh, another thing, we went to go get saved by the sunbeam and on our way there we found the whole other biome with like floating islands it was creepy but the new biome also brought new enemies which were the bony shark guys which are pretty creepy also once we got there as soon as we were about to get saved by the sunbeam and exploring the huge island that was there it was destroyed by an alien turbo laser which was pretty creepy and uh, the island in itself was too and I still want to investigate those roars because those were creepy in themselves so yeah um a lot of creepy stuff went down today I don't know how to explain it yet hopefully we'll find out soon but uh yeah if you are enjoying the Subnautica series leave a like and comment whether you want to see more Warzone clips or Subnautica clips because of course I just started my gaming channel and I want to know what the viewers want because I want to interact with you guys but other than that thanks for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day